When I met Matt, I didn't even know he lived on a farm. And then he brought me out here to meet the family. And so that was kind of my first time really being on a farm, um, which was interesting. And then we got married and we had both gotten business degrees. So we were living in suburbs and, you know, in a city and doing all that. And all of a sudden, one day he turned to me and he goes, I miss the farm. And I was like, okay. So he's like, let's move back to Iowa. And I was like, my family's there, let's go. You know, we'll go back to Iowa. I didn't go into it saying, hey, I wanna go do this because I'm gonna make money. Like I went into it because I grew up, we used to do fair to finish here. And then we custom fed for a local gentleman here starting in 96. So I went into it because I'd been around pigs. I liked being around pigs. I would say that it's what, 100 feet from my house and I barely know what's there. I was sure that I was gonna smell it, I was gonna hear it. But now that I've been part of that and seen it and realized that I barely know it's there unless I'm trying to find out that it's there. So it's just completely different than how I had imagined when it first was explained to me, I guess. Matt and his family have really gone above and beyond those regulations. I work in the regulatory world, and to see somebody that has implemented so many practices on their farm to decrease their environmental impact, it's incredible. Between his solar panels, his mist system in the farm, the cover crops, the no-till, the you know minimum tillage that he does on his fields to really conserve soil, water, air quality, his beautiful landscaping around the site here. He just exemplifies what you know an Iowa pig farmer is, and he's just you know the role model for the industry. Technology is advancing very quickly each year, and there's you know new practices that come out, new technologies every year, and it's really been neat to see how Matt and his family have really been open and accepting of those and implementing some of those things, and it's really you know the the way of the future for the industry. I would find it completely expected for my kids to end up on the farm someday. All three of them have different things that they like about the farm. Some are really into the animal care, some are into the crops and the tractors, combines. I was brought up that you always do the right thing regardless of how hard it is or how easy it is. So I try to set a good example of how I act and react and come to things and so I hopefully they pick up on that as well. And as they get older, we do start to have those conversations. Well, hey dad, why do we do this? Or why do we do that? And so they kind of get, get a firsthand lesson of why we do those things and, and why they're good for the environment and, and, those, and the pigs and us. It's fun to be the third generation in this spot. It makes us proud. It, we are grounded here in family and tradition. It's fun when we have all the generations here. So Matt's grandma still comes out. His parents are up here all the time. It means a lot and it keeps us going. Um, we have great friends, great support. The kids play sports on several teams. Um, they're involved in lots of activities. We're involved at our local church. The support and the friendships that you get in your community, you can't really replace. My name is Matt Ditch. I am Melissa Ditch. And I'm an Iowa pig farmer. And we, we care, care about, about Iowa, Iowa too. too.